Hello, it's Sebastian Danisic here again. Um, now, here's a video giving you help with the hard assignment for week three. So here's the question. It says, to sort a list of integers into a descending order, if it's empty, return the empty list. Otherwise, sort the tail and insert the head in the right place. So here's the solution in hope. So the first thing you should do is try the thing out in hope. So type hope and then cut and paste this code into the hope interpreter. So we've got the insert and the sort and then you can say sort and then you can give it a list one, two, four, three, for one, two, four, two, for example. If we insert sort that we get four, two, two, one it's because it's uh, sorting the list into descending order <coughs> right so how does this sort work well let's try and understand these methods here um, well what this says here is when we sort a list we, we give it a list of numbers and we get back a list of numbers so that's why uh, we say we call sort with a list sort one two four two and it gives us back a list four two two one so how does it work well if the list is empty sorting an empty list gives us the empty list there's nothing to sort now to sort now this bit here means to sort a list whose head is x and whose tail is m so we're trying to sort a list where we know the head of the list is called x i.e the zeroth element of the list is x and the tail is m and we're trying to sort that list into descending order. Well, what I the answer is, it is here, we sort M, which is the tail of the list, so we sort the tail of the list, and then we insert the head into the right place. So we sort the tail and then insert the head into the right place. Now what does insert, it so what does inserting an element into a list do? Well, here, this is where insert is defined. Insert takes a number, the number we're trying to insert, and the list, and it returns the list with that number inserted into the right place so that the whole list is in descending order. So we're assuming that this, that thi that this list here, the y comes down to m, is already in descending order. So this, says, so this says, the first rule here says to insert x into the empty list, well, if there's nothing in the list already, then we just want to get back... Um, the list x with just x in it. So that means the list with just one element x, because we're inserting x, number x, into the empty list. Obviously, there'll only be the x in the list. Now, the more complicated rule is the second rule, where we're trying to insert the number x into the list y, the list whose head is y and whose tail is m. In this case, um, we know that the list whose head is y and whose tail is m is already sorted into in descending order. Now, where we put the x depends on whether x is bigger or smaller than y. If x is bigger than y, uh, and as we're doing the whole thing in descending order, we just want to create the list which has x at the beginning and then y const onto m after that. In other words, we just put x at the beginning of the list because if it's bigger than y and the whole list is sorted, then it'll be bigger than all the other elements in the list. So we want to put the x at the beginning. If x is less than y, on the other hand, um, the resulting list is going to have y as its head. So that's why we've got the y there. y is going to be the head of the resulting list because this y is bigger than the x, and we're trying to put it in descending order. And then the tail of the, the resulting list, we're going to get by trying to insert x into the tail of this list, which is m. So let's try and say that again. We're trying to insert x in the list whose head is y and whose tail is m. Well, first we check whether x is less than y. If x is less than y, then we're going to get back the resulting list whose, tail, whose head is y, i.e. the list we're trying to insert it into, and whose tail is got by inserting x into m. So basically, th that goes along the list looking for the until it finds an element which is um, bigger, than the, bigger than the thing we're trying to insert, and it sticks the x just before that, so it'll put it'll put the x in the right place. Um, and this is the case when when it's found when the the x that it's got the thing it's trying to insert is bigger than the next thing, and it just sticks the x at the beginning. 
So f we could we could we can try if, if you like. We can then say insert three into five two one, and it puts the three after the in the right place. So we could say insert um, seven into the list three two two one. And now it'll insert it at the beginning because it's bigger than the three. So insert takes a, a number and a sorted list and puts the number into the correct place so that the resulting list is still sorted. And so then to sort the list, let's explain this again. If the list is empty, we get empty. Otherwise, if it's not, we sort the tail and insert the X, the head, into the right place, into the result of sorting the list. So that's how it works.